Oh yes, it's courtesy of High Snobiety, isn't it? <laughs> hilarious. Almost hilarious because it just represents everything that, you know, we know and love about the fashion industry. So over the weekend, uh, Bottega Veneta um, held some private members only salon presentation show thing. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if it was a kind of way for them to commemorate and celebrate their sort of digital journal, not a blog sort of thing that they're doing now at the moment because, you know, they kind of rid themselves of the of the shackles of social media and basically uh, put together a fancy, a fancy WordPress site. But whatever it is, they did some sort of big celebration and they invited a star-studded cast of people. You know, you've got Skepta here, Slow Tie, this other dude, I don't know his name is, but he probably had the best outfit of all the people that there and um yeah they're getting some pushback in it they're getting some pushback for us this is courtesy of highest nobiety says the following but take a slammed for hosting after party amid strict berlin lockdown it says here Patek Veneta is drawing controversy after it hosted a Salon 02 presentation at Bergam on Friday followed by a reported after party at a Soho house, right? Berlin's famed hedonistic nightclub shuttered its doors to clubbers when Germany first locked down in March last year. Currently, the city is back to a strict lockdown up with 9pm curfews as it battles the third wave of coronavirus, but that didn't stop them to make masterless international stars flying for the event, nor Soho house from reportedly hosting a crowded after party. Virgil Abloh, Skepta, Bernard Boy slow tie and honey dijon were just some of the names that descended on burger to view bottega veneta's latest collection it's funny too because i think honey dijon had a lot to say about people that were doing play grave so you know the irony again is funny um and we shouldn't be surprised really we really should not be surprised with these sort of things that are happening um it's just interesting the response uh to this from the scene and the community because i feel like just from looking at what people are saying in general especially the fashion crowd people they don't really care i think people are just trying to people are freaking out on the interweb just to kind of you know call because they want to be part of the outrage mob and reaction what not it is i feel like especially because people take of has become this new oh, let's continue let's continue let's continue let's continue let's continue before i start talking about the new this of course virgil there with the outfit you got sven the famous store man the burger in there a closer image of slow tie skeptic probably had the best outfit of everybody that arrived honey dijon with a nice outfit not a fan of the fan the the what you call it the, the sandals you got some ballerina guy right and then the lady that um from berlin that does all the roller skating i think that's her i think when i googled it. anyway it continues like other carrying brand um owned brands gucci saint laurent and uh, Bernsey, Henry Veneta, recently ditched the fashion week calendar instead of replacing traditional shows with off schedule experiential events last autumn the brand kicked off its new format by staging go spring at the secret like uh, a top secret showing in london um secretive nature of the show chimed perfectly with protecting its cinematic digital communication strategy the brand extremely limited social media prevalence has helped foster intrigue around its latest presentation especially once it deleted everything earlier this year but by, but now it seems that the strategy is conveniently serving another purpose shielding protecting Vera from its critics and for taking any responsibility for its actions disrupted Berlin the founder um brenda weischer sorry if you pronounce that took the instagram and said the following we're in lockdown berlin since november but tech veneta has had a giant uh, production of berkheim over several days but i keep hearing about um after house and art about after house and after parties there at soho house like many berliners worshiper worship why shire have you pronounced that, pronounced that? why shire was upset by the rumors that celebrities were flown in from several red countries and that in some cases the five-day quarantine was not observed <laughs> of course it wasn't this actually guy here has actually got the best outfit whoever he is who's that guy it doesn't matter to continue um as for its many events as i saw a house made its way onto twitter and instagram at the weekend particularly has come under increasing fire the event is being dubbed an iconic slap in the face of the whole city another wrote are you effing kidding me the whole country is in a terrible lockdown for months and now in end at no end in sight and the fig fashion corporation thinks that this is the good thing to do many are calling on particular to reactivate the social media channels to address the controversy the label deleted the social media late last year carrying owner francois henri pinot um explained the move to wwd saying it's not disappearing for social networks it's merely using them differently um it has decided in line with its positioning to lean more into on this ambassadors fans by giving them the material they need to talk about the brand through various social networks by letting them speak to the brand rather than doing it aka why speak for ourselves when we can when that you're going to talk about us anyway hi somebody T has reached out for particular for comment i guess so far it's radio silence and then of course 
you've got loads of accounts of people you got pictures of course of people arriving I, I think i already showed you all these already you got burner boy there virgil you got skepta you got slow tie you got another article here curse you have resin advisor that are going in tearing him into tearing into them as well so everybody is basically kicking them in and saying hey this is really not cool and then you've got this um, screenshot here from, I guess, a person that works at Soho House kind of um, outlining their experience of the following. Hey, I'm part of Soho House Berlin. I would love to stay anonymous. I was there during the last two weeks when Protect Van Der Stand stayed there, I guess it's meant to say here. We didn't have a COVID test um, done for the staff only for the last, only on the last Friday, two days before everyone was leaving. I was feeling terribly unsafe going there. Also frustrated because of their attitude, even though it didn't really surprise me. They made seven hundred and seven hundred thousand k during this time, even more. They rented out the whole hotel and made this huge party for Patek Vanetta. There was no rules whatsoever, and the upper management was also participating there. The staff was working in minimum wage. Um, we didn't get any bonus money or tips or anything. Of course, absolute pricks. You can see here; they know very well that they um, they take advantage of English speaking people in Berlin who don't speak German. It's the worst place I have ever worked at. I really appreciate what you're doing. I hate elitism, and I think the same rule should apply to everybody, no matter what you have in your wallet. That would be ideal, but unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. And so, and then you got another one here. This is an article here from Al Jazeera, point, just pinpointing how terrible it is over there in Germany, right? Germany struggles to curb a very, very serious third COVID wave, right? they got a third wave, right? It continues here. Um, Germany, approximately 40% of the population has received at least one jab, um, according to at least uh, from the from the our world data figure the vaccination rate dipped slightly over easter as centers in several states shut for holidays further complicating the vaccine rollout is uh, the official response to the embattled astrazeneca jab of course you would know about that if you keep up to date with the news guidelines have changed several times as well it was um it was to be used only for below 65s then withdrawn then uh, entirely over fears of blood clots then reinstated and now restricted mostly to above 60s with infection numbers high and the vaccine rollout in germany achieving only limited coverage so far organizers of popular fairs and festivals have said such large-scale events will not be able to take place until herd immunity is achieved so across the board they're going through terrible terrible situation in germany right probably I would say maybe up there with some of the worst um, figures overall and it's only going to get worse as things continue especially heading into the summer months right and then you've got here a screenshot courtesy of a guy called JT Moroni it's got a screenshot of Burner Boy looking ecstatic and you know jeweled up inside of Soho House dancing and shit you've got here people um, of course posting about it You've got a, a screenshot video here which looks like a Virgil DJing and Burner Boy having a good time. You've got another screenshot of somebody else kind of, you know, giving some insights of them working so house. Just to complete, of course, you've got this great meme, happy people for taking from the house party, looking at people looking down during lockdown. <laughs> absolute horrendous situation you've got here of course of it videos of people inside the party having a whale of a time <laughs> another video <laughs> jesus christ but hey man and then again and last one was supposed to see this is from diet pride of course covering the same thing that i just mentioned here so what do i think about this whole situation i think everyone's full of shit right everyone's full of shit and i think it's best when everyone's full of shit and you know it and you're kind of all aware of it i think the annoying thing about fashion especially you know the, the higher up you go people generally think that they're changing the world because of you know a cut of a garment that they're putting together or a color palette they're using and they feel like you know being you know seen in certain places and doing certain collaborations are really kind of meaningful in terms of changing the course of history who knows if that's true or not but usually in my experience i think it's all waffle because actual real life when actual real life things you know need to be impacted um they usually impact them negatively right <laughs> most fashion people and you just think about the amount of people they flew over 
forget even the celebrities you know that we all mentioned there that were you know obviously there to get their fits off but just imagine the production team that had to be there to install the whole thing the all the hangers on that were around as well just imagine all of those people getting flown to one of the most you know um hard hit places in terms of covid in a city that is well known for its nightlife that's kind of sacrificed and been on pretty much their good behavior in terms of staying indoors and then you're taking advantage of that silence and that sort of accessibility and openness because i'm imagining any other time outside of covid those locations probably wouldn't be available or free in order for them to put on such an activation in the first place or a presentation. So they're taking advantage of that to do a fashion show behind closed doors. And then, you know, inadvertently maybe spread the virus to many, many, many more people in the process, which inevitably might effective, which might inevitably lead to the deaths of, you know, untold people who have nothing to do with that brand whatsoever. And then you like to say fashion brands will come up and say, oh, we're trying to be environmental. We're trying to look after the planet. We're not going to use levers, no real furs. But what you could be doing was trying to be more responsible and maybe not hosting a presentation in a foreign country that's going through this bad bout of COVID and then flying over a whole international cast of influencers and then not requiring them to quarantine. That was what you should probably should be doing. But again, like I said, do people really care about this stuff? I don't know if they do. Because part of me thinks if a lot of these people who are complaining were invited to go to a presentation for the IT brand at the moment, right? Because Batek Vanette is having like a Vetemar kind of moment, maybe early Balenciaga Demnov moment, right? Where it's sort of like the IT brand at the moment. It's on everyone's lips. Everyone's wearing it. If Daniel Lee invited you to such an event, would you turn it down? I don't think they would, most of these people. So a lot of the... Um, a lot of the outrage that's out there is quite disingenuous on both ends, right? The idea that this particular network kind of putting what this thing together in order to represent and showcase their international community of influencers during a time when international travel probably shouldn't be the thing that you're trying to promote, right? Is disingenuous. And also the fact that people are losing their shit over this presentation in Berlin when, you know, from what I've heard on the grapevine, people are out there doing all sorts of nonsense behind closed doors. So people are speaking out both sides of their mouth, it feels like. Again, it probably shouldn't have occurred. Paces at Bergheim probably should know better in terms of even hosting such a thing. Um, you don't even your name to be associated with such nonsense. Places at the Standard Hotel also should be probably, you know, maybe a bit more aware of how they basically use their platform or their space, quote unquote. Yes, all that kind of good stuff. But, you know, we're all full of shit, man everyone's generally full of shit if you're an influencer and you went there to cash in a check you're full of shit or even though you check just to get some free clothes you're full of shit because you're definitely the person that was complaining about other people doing it earlier on in the year and now you go and do it yourself it's just i don't know the sooner the world reopens up the better because if we all have to kind of um, stand on our moral high horse then i think we would all kind of slowly but surely buckle off of it very quickly but again, it must be frustrating if you live in Berlin to kind of see that happening, especially if you're living under the current restrictions they're facing now in Germany nationwide, right? They have a, a legit curfew now at the moment. Um, you can't go to certain shops and shit. So to see these people being flown over from various parts of the world to go on a tennis event. And if I'm not mistaken, because I was on Skepta's thing the other day, checking the Air Maxes. If I'm not mistaken, Skepta was in like some African country or something, right? Prior to going to Berlin, I'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken again not snitching or anything but if i'm not mistaken he probably was so uh, imagine doing all this and then flying over there and doing all that it's just i don't know because so far i've seen a lot of people in fashion flying around and doing whatever the fuck they want so and no one's really been saying much i guess because you know everyone kind of wants a job so again the hypocrisy the disingenuous of it is all a little bit see-through it's not really worth kind of bothering and getting yourself all irate over really I think the best thing you can do is set your own example by not going and attending these things during a global pandemic, of course, when things are safe and you've got a vaccine, fair enough, do what the fuck you want. But at the moment, it's probably best to probably stay at home regardless of who invites you to go to certain places. Because for sure, once summer comes around, because what have I heard? So far, we've heard that Fashion Week in Paris is going to be up and running as per usual, right? So it'd be interesting to see the same people that are complaining about particular Vanetta show, whether or not they're going to be flying to Paris to go and attend shows. That would be a real good test to see how people, um, where people's ethics and morals actually lie in that respect. But hey, ho, what can you do?